Hello electric car lovers, in this channel I cover all the latest tech news surrounding electric cars. I cover the background feel and drive, the current selling price and the specs and engineering that go into making each car. If you have an electric car that you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments below. In today's video, I'm reviewing the upcoming Nissan Aria. I'll be covering the most important features to see whether it'll crush the competition or not, with its sexy exterior and interior Japanese design and its intelligent autopilot technology. One more thing before I start, my wife is so negative. I remember to plug in the EV at night, I set up the car seat, the stroller and the diaper bag. Yet all she can talk about is how I forgot the baby. Okay, now back to the video. The Nissan Aria is a battery electric compact crossover SUV that will be manufactured at Nissan's Toshigi facility in Japan beginning in July 2020. The Aria's introduction in the United States was originally scheduled for the second half of 2021, but has now been pushed back to 2022. Yep, the Nissan LEAF is no longer the company's only all-electric vehicle. The all-new 2023 Nissan Aria is an electric crossover coupe that's not only demonstrating the company's aim to compete with industry leaders like Tesla, but also a potential new design direction. It's a tough task for a car maker in financial trouble, but the Aria might be just what the doctor ordered to get things back on track. The Aria not only has the newest battery electric technology, but it also has autonomous driving capabilities, voice personal assistance, and and range up to 300 miles. The Aria is also Nissan's first vehicle to get over-the-air upgrades. The Aria is without a doubt a huge step forward for Nissan and it is likely to be a popular seller when it hits showrooms. The Aria production version was announced in July 2020 and was originally scheduled to enter the market in 2021 at a starting price of $40,000. The Aria's introduction was pushed back from 2021 to 2022 due to the chip scarcity caused by the lockdown. Pricing for the US market was released on November 17, 2021 with a starting price of $47,125. Deliveries in the United States are planned to begin in the fall of 2022 for the 2023 model year. The Aria will compete with other EV crossovers for comparable size such as the Tesla Model Y and Hyundai Kona Electric in 2022. Design and Engineering some electric vehicles such as the BMW iX3 and the Mercedes EQA are based on current petrol and diesel powered models. While the Aria was built from the bottom up to be an electric vehicle, this eliminates the need for huge intakes or other airflow disrupting features in the front grille. As a result, starting from scratch has offered Nissan's engineers greater creative freedom in designing the Aria, and it shows. The Nissan Aria appears significantly more futuristic and powerful than the Mercedes EQA or BMW iX3. From the clean front end to the swoopy roofline, the roof spoiler and full-length rear tail light are sporty additions to this family's friendly SUV's overall appeal. It looks more like the new Skoda, Enyaq, IV Coupe than the usual boxer SUVs already on the market. The Nissan Aria is the ultimate manifestation of style and technology, according to Nissan. It's difficult to disagree because the Aria's V-Motion grille has a 3D pattern with the brand's new emblem that lights up due to 20 LEDs, it's keeping in its timeless Japanese futurism design philosophy. The aerodynamic grille also serves as a cover for the Aria's ProPilot sensing equipment. The LED running lights integrate into the grille with a broken horizontal line connects the front and rear fascias on the sides of the car. A raised C-pillar and one-piece blade with a blackened out appearance when not in use add to the rear end's appeal. Nissan offers six two-tone paint and four full body color choices, including the distinctive copper paint, for even more flair. With two-tone paint, a black roof is provided, sporty 19-inch aluminum wheels are standard with 20-inch available as an option. When compared to the Tesla Model Y, the exterior style is unmistakably dramatic and it's easy to see when the eyes would first be drawn. Interior. The inside is decorated in a Japanese-inspired style. The infotainment screen and the driver's instrument gauge cluster both have big 12.3-inch monitors. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Amazon Alexa are all available as standard features. Because all of the key functions are incorporated into the touchscreen, the minimalist dashboard lacks traditional buttons. One especially inventive approach was to have mechanical-related operations vibrate when pressed, simulating the action of pressing a button. Thankfully, the heating settings are separate touch-sensitive pads on the dashboard rather than being incorporated into the touchscreen, which may be difficult to operate while driving. The majority of the car's function will be managed via the central touchscreen or the new Hey Nissan voice command system, which is similar to that used in recent Mercedes, BMW and Volkswagen vehicles. Without taking your hands off the wheel, you can set up the sat-nav make phone calls and alter the temperature setting. The Aria concept car from 2019 
had a function that allowed the car to sync with the driver's schedule, allowing it to preheat or pre-cool the cabin while it was parked and charging, saving battery power. The idea also demonstrated technology that would let the driver use ProPilot's remote park to autonomously park the Aria from a nearby place, akin to Tesla's smart summon feature. Nissan has not stated whether or not these features will be included in the production vehicle. The Nissan Aria's extensive infotainment system will include over-the-air updates, so crucial software modifications or upgrades will be handled via the built-in 4G connection. This means you won't have to return to the shop to get the newest upgrades installed. The center console, like the seat placements, may be adjusted to driver's preferences and recorded as part of the driver's profile. There's lots of storage, including a huge box concealed behind the center instrument panel and the laptop-friendly fold-out tray. The zero-gravity chair's compact form helped to give more legroom for both front and rear seat occupants. Engineers were able to free up interior space in unusual ways because the Aria's EV base, such as placing the temperature control system under the hood, where a combustion engine would have been. Electric vehicles do not require a transmission tube, and the Aria's flat floor provides even greater passenger and freight room. Performance Unlike the Leaf, which only has four-wheel drive, Nissan is using technology developed for previous cars, including as the torque split system used in the GTR sports car to provide optional all-wheel drive via a dual-front rear electric motor layout. The all-wheel drive, Aria, is expected to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in less than 5 seconds which is comparable to higher-end electric vehicles. The standard front-wheel drive vehicle will most certainly be slower, but it will have the quick acceleration that EV powertrains are known for. The base Aria will generate 160 kilowatts and 221 pound-feet of torque, while the improved version will generate 289 kilowatts and 443 pound-feet of torque. Drivers may choose from three different driving modes to find the best setting for the road and weather circumstances. The near 50-50 front-rear weight distribution and other benefit of the hefty battery pack beneath the floor will allow for excellent handling. The standard ProPilot Assist 2.0 suite of features, which includes lane centering, navigating stop-and-go highway traffic and assisting in maintaining vehicle speed depending on impeding road conditions, will appeal to safety-conscious purchasers, intelligent around-view monitor, forward collision warning and emergency braking are all included in the Nissan Safety Shield package. Battery Life the Aria will be available in two battery sizes, 66kWh and 87kWh, as well as front or all-wheel drive. On a single charge, the FWD 87kWh is estimated to go roughly 300 miles. AWD variants use Nissan's innovative E-Force system, which borrows technology from the Nissan GT Torque Split R system. The Venture Plus, according to Nissan, has a driving range of up to 300 miles per charge, which is a significant improvement over the Leaf's maximum range of 226 miles. The Evolve Plus and Premier versions are set to go up to 285 miles on a single charge, while the Platinum Plus is set to go up to 265. Jaguar's I-Pace and Audi's e-tron, which offer 234 and 204 miles of range respectively, are similarly sized automobiles. Tesla's main competitors claim ranges of over 300 miles. The Aria will be able to charge at home, at public charging stations and even at DC fast charging ports, using 110 to 240 volt outlets. Price and model range The Aria starting price of $47,125 puts it beyond the Leaf and other inexpensive EVs, but it will be less expensive than the Tesla Model Y long range, which starts at about $50,000. Even with a shorter range, the Aria and Model Y will fight for customers. People could continue with the entry-level Venture Plus trim, which has the longest driving range among the Aria's four rim levels, because the prevailing mentality is that range is crucial to effectively switching from gasoline to electricity. Official price will start at around $40,000, of course. This does not include a few thousand dollars in federal and state tax incentives. Here's the price of each of the four trims. The Venture Plus trim starts at $47,125. The Evolve Plus will cost you $50,125. The Premier trim will cost $54,625. And the Platinum Plus is the costliest trim with $60,125. Of course, the Model Y won't be the only competitor for the Aria. The incoming Volkswagen ID.4 will be a strong competitor, as will the Audi Q4 Sportback e-tron. I'll bet the latter will be more expensive. The Fisker Ocean, which is expected to start at roughly $37,500 before any tax incentives, is another probable future competitor. The age of all electric crossovers with a sporty appearance is here. This wraps up my review of the Nissan Aria. Let me know what you think of it. Thank you for sticking it out through the very end of this video. Nothing helps out my channel more than y'all watching the entire video. These videos take a long time to make and are a labor of love. 
If you'd like to see my channel grow, please help spread the word. And until next time, remember, the best experiences aren't about where you end up, but who you're lucky enough to be on the journey with.